guys, today I want to talk about pre-ordering, sp some speculation and some hype of Battle for Zendikar. Battle for Zendikar prices are extremely high right now. Uh, pre-orders are still happening and even orders right now. So Battle for Zendikar, is it worth the money it currently is at the singles? And the answer is no, it is not. And the reason it's not is because of hype. Now let me tell you the a very good story about hype was when a person, the card was called Dramatic Entrance. And he wanted to hype up this card because he had purchased many of them. Actually, he purchased them all before he made a fake deck list. The fake deck list had a deck with Dramatic Entrance winning the event. The event was called the Helsinki Modern Capital One. And it was a fake event. I'll have a, in the description below, I'll have a summary and uh, some links. He made a deck list. He submitted it to Daily MTG. And Daily MTG is pretty good resource for seeing what decks are, especially for what brews are doing extremely well. So it was caught. It wasn't caught as a fake deck. The event was a fake event. And then suddenly this price goes from pretty much bulk to extremely valuable because there's no supply. The deck apparently won a larger level event. When I mean apparently, I meant it was a uh, faked. And now people are buying the card. So when you talk, when you read articles or YouTube videos or any other type of content, you have to ask yourself one question. Is the person who's making this video, are they incentivized to drive up the price. And this case would be the most blatant example of a non-event, something that didn't even happen, and the person is driving up the price by making a fake story and putting a fake, putting a real card, which they purchased all of, in a deck that supposedly won this large event. And obviously that's going to increase the price of that card. Now, when I look at the current, a good example I have for Battle for Zendikar would be the Slowlands, the Tanglelands, the Battlelands, who knows what they, they are car, called. Maybe somebody in the comments below will just give it a better name and then that's what we can call it forever. But those cards are extremely hyped right now. They are $8 to $10. Shocklands are not even $8 to $10 when they were in standard. <laughs> They're not even $8 to $10 now. And they remind me a lot of Shocklands in functionality for Standard. Uh, Shocklands are obviously far superior for Modern, but in Standard, when you don't have Shocklands and you're play forced to play these cards, these cards are not bad. They just don't have, you're not going to need four of them unless you're two colors. If you're a tri-color or a four-color deck, why would you need four of them? You would just need various amounts of them, but you wouldn't need a playset of them. So I would say, the same with underground, that under connection dude, the one double green mythic who I'm very, very low on, who's every day goes up to like he's 20 bucks now. And every day he gets more and more expensive. I don't see the utility of him. And I don't understand why he's continuing to go up in price. So I think it's all hype that people have written articles about him saying like, oh, he can be playing in a hardened scale deck. Hardened Scale is also a 4 or $5 car now. So make a decision for yourself. A lot of times, that's why I don't tell you what to do. I just give you information and then let you decide what you want to do with it. Uh, do I like some cards in this set? I do. I like Draina a lot, but her price is kind of... It, it sailed already, and Gideon I liked a lot too. And The more I play Gideon, the more I like him. So... I don't know, hype is hype, and you should always, even if you watch a video like this and think Fale is the best thing since bread, just think about it for yourself, and before you make a uh, purchase, you it's the decision is on you to make that purchase. That's all I wanted to say, because I know a lot of you have been asking me about what cards, when to buy cards, and stuff of that nature, and I say, that choice, uh, listen to it, but see if there's any incentive for that person who wrote that piece of content to be promoting it. Bye guys.